Asteroid City is Wes Anderson's latest film. It follows a group of people in the fictional town of Asteroid City as they are going to a stargazing event for a once in a lifetime moment. And like any Wes Anderson movie, this movie is weird as sh**. Now I assume that you already knew that going in because it is once again a Wes Anderson project. However, this one's a little weirder than his others. Now, every hallmark of a Wes Anderson movie is here. The weirdness, the strange dialogue, the very fun, interesting characters, the locked off shots, the movement of camera on tracks, the not following the characters in the middle of the screen, all of it, all of that is here. And like any Wes Anderson project, the story makes about as much sense as you can expect it to. By which I mean, not a lot. For me personally, the strangest thing about this movie was that there's not really any kind of singular plot. By which I mean, there's no immediate goals that the characters are trying to achieve within this. It's kind of just a snapshot of what is happening around them. The thing is, the setup for this movie is ostensibly a documentary about making a play. Which makes this a lot more interesting to me. But with that kind of setup, it makes a lot of the lock-offs seem more logical, where the camera only moves when we need to see the other people and focus on others, therefore making it seem like it's a spotlight moving from actor to actor, focusing on the scene that needs to be focused on at the time when everyone is on stage. The movie also explicitly tells us what the scenes are and what's going on, split into acts one, two, and three, with an intermission in the middle of the film. An optional intermission mission that obviously the movie theaters don't take. Now, as we are watching the events of the characters on screen, we will at moments cut back to the making of this documentary, which is very much looks like a polished and completed version of this documentary, with Brian Cranston's character speaking to us directly as viewers to tell us kind of how it got made or how different elements were changed during the production. And that was a very interesting thing for me to see because it made it feel more like this was an actual play that existed in the real world, which I think helps bring the film kind of of more into a fun little space that not a lot of people would kind of expect the film to be in. For me, I had a lot of fun with this movie as a result. It's just a weird little snapshot film that if you enjoy other Wes Anderson movies, you will definitely enjoy this one. While there isn't necessarily a direct plot line through this film that we see characters progressing through in terms of goal to finish line, I think that really works for this movie specifically because of the way it's set up. And even without that is really interesting. And during some of the documentary portions, we actually see some of the characters asking, what does the play mean? And the answers we get are very interesting, but my personal favorite was there isn't necessarily a meaning. Not everything that happens happens for a reason, but no matter what, we kind of just have to keep going, which is a very interesting concept, but it's really hard to talk about the plot as a result because Honestly, I can't tell you what happened in the plot of that movie outside of group gets trapped in city after alien sighting. Yeah, I, I have nothing. I, I cannot tell you anything that happened after that outside of that premise. That's how weird this movie is. But this movie is super, super fun. If you're a fan of Wes Anderson, again, you will adore this movie. It is dripping in Anderson's style. And this movie, ostensibly being a play, makes it almost feel more like a Wes Anderson movie than if that hadn't been the context of this film. So if you like Wes Anderson, I highly recommend that you see that. And for me, personally, this movie rolls a 17. Super entertaining, a lot of fun. Not something that I will necessarily go back to super super often, but whenever I do have a Wes Anderson kick, this will be one of the first films that I look to, to fill that want to see a Wes Anderson film. Hey guys, I hope that you enjoyed that video. Yeah, not a ton for me to talk about outside of I enjoyed the movie because it's really confusing outside of I enjoyed the movie, but I hope that you guys all enjoyed this video. If you'd like to follow me on any of my social medias, links to all of those are coming down in the description below. I do really enjoy making these videos and I hope to continue to be able to do that, but I hope that you all have a fantastic day and I'll see you all next time.